Uh, hello. My name is Suyu Asui. And today I'm... Well, tonight, I'm going to tell you a story about how I became a villain. <sighs> I kind of feel bad and kind of feel like a complete idiot doing this. Well, here it goes. <sighs> well, technically I wanted to be a pro hero originally. And everything had been going well. Not gonna lie, it actually was. But along the way, I felt like I was a freak. Yes, a freak. People did not accept me at all because of who I am. I'm a frog, obviously. My quirk, literally a frog. And people would get annoyed by me. Even though I didn't do nothing wrong. People would know about, about me. Just rip it, rip it, rip it. And I just don't appreciate people doing that to me. I just wanted to make friends. Along the way, I did, yes, make friends. Tons of friends. That's like me. And I wanted to help people out that has problems like me. Well, I'm not a problem, but I'm trying to save people that's like me. Become a pro hero as well, too. Or anything that they want. Yeah. Tried my best. Some I failed. Some I technically succeed. However, in the way, it wasn't turning out very good for me. Everybody treated me like a freak. Everybody looked at me differently like I was a monster but the only person and a couple more but mainly that person was Midoriya Midoriya helped me with everything he was the one that accepted me for who I am and I accepted him for who he was I saved him a few times during the USJ he even saved me he protected me from that big monster and that villain. But it was a lot that he did for me. Along the way, I kind of had feelings for him, but I don't know if he notices it. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but he was so focused on Uraka, which is my second best friend. Ochaka Uraka was everything to me. She was like a sister to me. Until she had feelings for Midoriya. I confessed to her that I had feelings for Midoriya and she kind of didn't take it the right way. At that time she lost her mind. She threatened people to keep her keep him she wanted to keep him, and, uh, let's just say she threatened people. She threatened people along the way, and she also threatened me. She wanted to stab me. She wanted to kill me. I, I, all I told her is just, I like Midoriya too, but she did not take it the right way. But along the way, everybody treated me differently. I, it's because... People say I'm a frog, and frogs are useless. All they do is just sit around and eat frogs. Well, technically not eat frogs, because that would be cannibalism. <laughs> but eat flies, bugs, just swim around and reproduce. Well, yes, technically that's what frogs do, but not all. Especially me. I, I, I fight. I want to be stronger. I really do. During the whole entire internship, I felt so strong and powerful. I wasn't judged. I go back to UA, I just felt like... I felt so isolated. For some reason, no one didn't notice me. No one didn't even talk to me. 
everybody just turned the left cheek, giving me the cold shoulder. I asked one of them, which was Ida, did I do something wrong? Even Ida didn't want to talk to me. Not even Momo. It was getting worse and worse. At that point, I was losing my mind. Un until that camp and camp boot camp training. Yes, the boot camp train. I remember. That's why I met Toga. To once Toga just cut my tongue a little bit, I didn't know how to feel about it. The way she looked at me, she just wanted to do something to me. Like, she had this look of not only lust, but I don't know how to describe it. It was more. She talked to me before Uraraka attacked him. Uh, should I? I should have let Toga just attack Uraraka. I sometimes wish that we didn't have that internship. I wish Toga just would have grabbed her and just stabbed her in her throat. I know it seems very harsh, but that's how it felt. I felt like everybody was holding me back. I wanted to do something, but I just don't know how. One night, Toga came to my room through the windows. For some reason, I don't know how she knew my room. And I don't know how she got through. But either way, she came in and talked to me, telling me everything about joining the League of Villains. She told me, you don't need to worry. Just keep going. Don't look back. If you want to join, it's your choice. We're all family. They don't treat you like family here. So, I took her hand. I took her hand and went with it. I... I know I hesitate so much, but sometimes I just can't. I really can't. It's too much. I, 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 I just, I'm just so confused sometimes. I, I try to figure out how, how I would do things, but it's just so much pressure. I couldn't handle, can't handle all of it. It's just too much. The heroes have too much pressure. So I just decided to go. I know you would hate me, but I I just I just couldn't take it no more. No one knew would want to be around me. I I I I'm not even sure what I did. Kiro 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 Sometimes I just cry. I don't want to be here. But the League of Villains really do treat me like family. They accept me for who I am. Especially Toga. And I just decided to go on. And now I'm a villain. Causing havoc, breaking the rules.